In this video, we want to explain image effects. We can use in two ways. First, in here, you can click image effect and insert your image that you want. Or you can, for example, uh, add a after, add an image after capturing. Or, for example, in here, you can right click in the capture Im image and use add image effect here. This new software or window will be open and you can add any effect that you want. <clears throat> or for example, you can insert any image. For example, you can simply click and drag on the software and any image insert on it. I use, uh, for example, this image or this PNG image. This is PNG image. You can right click and add image effect here. It is another way you can use image effect. Click on it maximize that we have three columns here this columns is a preset this column is effect this columns is uh, columns is for settings in this column you can add preset for example preset number one p1 hit click on this plus icon preset number two you can rename it here p2 <coughs> In any of that, you can, for example, in P1, preset number 1, you can add any effect here. Plus, uh, click on this plus icon, you can add any effect here in it. For example, background, for example, alpha, any preset that you want, in a, any effect that you want. In preset number 2, you can add another effect, canvas or filter blur. <coughs> After you doing that, you can close it. And here, it's used here, after capture task. For example, after I uh, capture a screen from, from my uh, monitors, here you can add image effects. If image effects preset number two, preset number one. For example, in P1, we have some effects after we capturing, automatically the software add that effect that you set before here, okay? Going back to the add image effect and we work on it. You can delete any of preset that you want. You have to want preset. Delete and delete. Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about drawings. Okay, for this uh, effects background or particle or image, I use a PNG image. As you see, it has no background. You can add in the background in the PNG. In the background and here is settings in the color. You can click it, click in three dots and you can add any background here that you want, any color. It's okay and simply you can add background. You can use gradient. Here you can set it true. <laughs> true means uh, okay. Use the background, false means not, no, no background, true. You can set any background, click here and click in three dots and you can add any gradient from its preset here. For example, I choose um, this background and you can change the um, this background. You can change color here, color number two or color number one or two here. You can reverse your gradient here. You can add or remove it clear or using in presets here. You can change the gradient type, vertical, horizontal, or any kind of diagonal. Hit OK, as you see, you has a gradient background. OK, you can remove it. Another effect is border. You can add a border here. Uh, you can type border outside, border inside. You can set its size 10. Click anywhere to set a border. To see that, you can change your color in red, for example. Here you can see the border. You can use gradient here, true, or add new gradient, any gradient that you want. For example, in this preset, you can see, beautiful. And here you can specify what type of the style you want to use, solid, 
dash dot or any kind of style that you want another effect is checker board you can add a checker board here you can set its size for example bigger size to see the checkers you can change the this color and this color here for example you set any color that you want in a checker board another effect is image you can add an image for example a watermark here here you can set your image mm. in desktop i use my our logo here you can mm, change its placement top left or by clicking in this graphical choose when you can choose any any this is nice for example uh, you want to add your logo in any image that you capture you can set it okay i set it here for my effect in a preset number one that was to here you can change its size your offset here for example 10 pixel and x and y you can see the offset and 10 pixel okay you can change its size you can flip it title or you can change its opacity for example you can change opacity in half okay you can see the background through that we keep this uh, effect for testing another effect is particle you can add a particle using image you can see here i have a folder that i <clears throat> prepare a little icon logo of this sherix in a different color these are small dimensions going back to the effect in a particle you can uh, set your image folder here select your particle folder select folder in image count you can change the image count for example higher number and you can see in a random size you can uh, in a random it's spread the logo on your image you can change the random size true as you see that's random size the minimum size you can change the minimum size or you can change the maximum size of your random for example high number you can set the random rotation true for rotating that minimum angle or maximum angle of rotation you can change the random opacity you can minimum or maximum opacity or you can set it no overlap yes or no this is our particle we delete that and these two are text very simple you can add a text on your image you can type any text here you can change it placement you can change it placement any where you want you can change the angle you can change the font color gradient often you can test all of this it's very simple and another drawing tool is text watermark you add the text and the background you can change any size color of this this is very simple delete this okay we want to test it for example in a preset number one we have a watermark okay close that and after task after task add image p1 you can disable or activate it activate p1 and after that we for example capture full screen it has no effect sorry i make it something wrong oh, oh, oh i have to i have to activate it it's strange you have to click on it to activate it okay you now activate that you can add effect p1 another capture and that's it and that's it you can add any logo that you want 
in any capture that you set or any capture that you want you add this logo add its effect that you set in a effect image effects okay 